Hi guys, how are you guys doing? It's your girl Silas Mukbang, the Mukbang News Reporter. Here out on this YouTube stream. Now guys, as you guys could read and see, yes, today we are going to be talking about Ellie Soul. Ellie Soul have dropped another video, guys, on her channel. And it was saying out with the old, in with the new. How do we move forward? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, guys, I watched this video. I've watched it like a little bit twice even. Yes, because the first time I watched it, you know, I, I had to watch it again to hear very clearly what I was hearing with my own ears. Mm -mm -mm. Now, let me tell you guys, by watching this video for me, this is just my opinion allegedly everybody for me i feel like it has been clear that she was talking about dolphin aka dolphina yes 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 in my opinion right now it's clearly that ellie so with her friend was talking about dolphina that was the video of the dl download culture no more silence is where ellie was explaining um situation that she was in a relationship with somebody and that person is the ex now and that person was on a dl so the person was liking also men but he was keeping it on a down low and was not telling ellie the truth a lot of people are speculating that that it was dolphin that she was talking about but in this video in this video listen now my ahura people I feel like Ellie have made it clear. So let's get into it very quick. What she have said. Of course, go watch the video yourself. But this is just a quick recap. What Ellie have said in the video. In this video, Ellie have said even herself that last year she have definitely threw a bomb. Now, Ellie, that was not a bomb. That was an atom bomb, <laughs> in my opinion. She was talking about the DL, the down low. You know, her ex was on a DL and also have almost give ellie an std now what ellie have explained about the std situation about you know a woman can you know not be fruitful anymore is totally true so ellie at that moment um you know if she could have cut it she could have permanently not be fruitful also so that will have definitely be something painful for ellie to have passed through that but thank god she did not she um say also that she got black backflash about coming out with that video of the dl culture she says she got and she don't understand she also explained in the video that she don't understand why people have given her the black the backflash while she was coming with her true and all of that apparently she also have said in this video that even though she have come with the true and say her part and all of that it will not affect it will not affect the other parties because apparently what she was seeing is that the other parties are still in the same situation and in the same ship. In my opinion, I'm happy that Ali came out and tell her truth because also what she was seeing is that she came with also um, why was the reason she also have said that why was the reason she have come out with this video is to protect innocent women and also innocent men that cut themselves with this kind of DL men, down low men or women that keep themselves on, keep themselves on the down low from their partner. Let me tell you people, I totally agree with Ellie and I said it already, let your partner be the one to choose if they want to be in this kind of relationship people don't drag anybody anybody in this kind of relationship people let your partner be the one to even choose now in this case i believe right now that we are talking about dalfina aka dalfin so dalfin i think this dalfin you need to look for help oh. you need to look for help you and want to live as a you know bisexual just say that you are bisexual and live your life as a bisexual just at this point because Ellie have came out and said that she is a bisexual. She didn't hide it. She is an open bisexual. She have said it already. But I mean, a bi bisexual or bisexual. Oh, sorry for my English people. 
So Ellie have came out and said truly that she's an open bisexual. I mean, Delfina, if you are a bisexual, just be open and be clear. Also, people are asking, does Nicolini, aka Nicole, of course, know all about this situation? Does she know what Zeddy Chong Chong is all about? Apparently, in this video, also Ellie shouted out Denisha Daniels. Anisha, Anisha Daniels. Now, for the people who does not know who Anisha Daniel is, Anisha Daniel had a channel, and that channel was struck down by the CCCCC family. Yes, people. But she started her new channel. Now, I'm telling you guys, that's very brave of her. She has started her channel, and she's doing very, very well on her own there, on her chair with her channel. Anisha Daniels apparently have took action and contacted Ellie before when Ellie was saying that she was in an open relationship and even told Ellie that what kind of relationship is this and all of that apparently they had like you know a relationship behind the scenes now that this all have come down apparently Anisha knows a lot and apparently she's not seeing anything on her channel Ellie so have shouted out Anisha Daniels for not saying anything while Ellie so have also said that Anisha knows everything. Anisha Daniels was doing her commentary about the CCC family. You know, she was not a fan of Dolphin and the whole CCC family. That's why the whole CCC family have struck her down. But even though she liked it, Ellie so, you know, she have kept it a little bit cordial apparently in her commentary till this whole fell down came. Now I have saw some picture. I have saw some picture of Anisha Dennis. <laughs> she said, so my sister, take it easy, yeah. Take it easy. Um, yes, I see that you're that she's very emotional and very angry because she knows more than a lot of us don't know. So I can imagine that she's so angry about everything. So apparently there is a lot going on. Even Ellie Soul was saying that Anisha Dennis can even say a lot about the whole group. Hey, and when we say about the group, we're talking about the ZCC family. So what is there more to talk about the whole group? What is about the whole group? When I told you guys there is something, there is something. I told you guys there is something, but I cannot put my finger on it. I told you guys because I see them the way they move, especially on somebody's birthday, on uh, Thanksgiving Day, Christmas and New Year. I see the movement and this is not a ZCC family movement. So there is something going on. And I think when Ellie and Zeddy Chong Chong have separated, when this whole, whole shakara came down, is when the whole group have definitely crumbled. So apparently there is more that we don't know. What Ellie have said also in this video is that she have given us a tip, a tip of the iceberg. And I was like, girl, is this a tip? What is the whole, whole book about that? I'm like, excuse me? Is this was a tip? Hey, mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm going to be honest, even though I want to know what is the whole thing i don't even want to know i think this will crumble up the whole beloved life family the whole ZCC family down ellie also was saying that she came with this video so that he can stop using woman and also man and stop fooling people and all of that and also, what she has said is that apparently nothing has changed. Now, I, I, I'll show you guys all the shakara that was going on in that house. Apparently, Zeddy Chancho wants to start a whole, you know, a gun video and all of that. Women were dancing, shaking their boom boom in the house. I'll show you guys all of that. So, is Zeddy Chong Chong a changed person? Is he going to work on himself? Is still a question apparently like i told you guys also we went back in the old video and like i told you guys it was not an open relationship for them to go sleep around that was not the agreement and i have shown you guys in my other video that it was said in the video also that this was not an open relationship in the kind of way that they were not allowed to be sleeping around and all of that so she felt like she was crossed and lie she definitely also said in this video that she's blaming herself for have accepted a lot before she have left 
she keeps saying that we don't know a lot we don't know nothing yet now let me tell you guys i don't know what is going on with this whole this, 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 this family but i feel like there is a cult situation over there it's even giving me like chills on my body ah i'm like what is going on with these people who have money what craziness are these people putting themselves because they have money Jesus, so people protect yourself. What your children know? To heal and to show other women, listen. If no one else on this app is doing it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna keep it 100 and let you know. Yeah, this is a situation I got myself into, and I too thought I would have never gotten into it, and I thought I was too good as well, and I thought I was too smart. But guess what? I'm brave enough to admit that I'm not perfect, and I failed myself in every single way. But I also didn't stay down. I got up. I got up and I kept it pushing. And today, I am no longer in that situation by the grace of God. It's easy to sit on this platform and give an illusion of perfection. It's easy to sit on this platform and act like I live the perfect life, one without mistakes. And I'm not human, I'm perfect. And I always make the perfect decisions, end up with the perfect people, live a perfect life, drive a perfect car and live in a perfect house. And I have a perfect family. Like, <laughs> it's so easy to pretend give you guys a fake life and a facade and i think a huge part of social media and why there's a such thing as influencers is because people love the idea of perfection um so guys and this is what i don't like about social media this is what i don't like about content creators that will come out on this platform and pretend and show as if they have a perfect life or their situation is perfect and people with weak minded will fall for this shakara let me tell you that's why i always ask people be real be honest yeah don't be sitting there and lying you have people that are watching you they have weak minded they have weak minded that will will even if today you you say um jump from a bridge they, those people will jump from a bridge be the good example be the best example. We already have the system that we are working against. We already have um, this life that in and, and the government that is already the, the, the social media, people who are trying to fool us, that is already working with us. And now we as content creators that can turn all this shakara around are fooling people too. Just because of few, just because of money. Be real with your audience. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, Jesus, so Ellie has said this very, very well, people. It's very easy to give people an illusion that, you know, life is good. Life is this and life is that. But it's not true. Jesus, so... I wanted to address... Oh, there's so many comments about like, oh, this person said it and you just believed it, you just ran with it. No. No, I just gave you guys an example of how I truly found out that that person was ultimately getting with men. That I, and and oh my God, listen to this: getting with men, this, getting with men. Hmm. That there you have it: getting with men. So, guys, at the end of this video, she is shouting out um, Anisha Daniels, and that was a confirmation for me that. Ellie was talking about Zari Chong Chong, aka Dolphin, aka Dalfina. Mm, 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 mm. Now, listen up, even though she didn't mention name, I will be surprised if Beloved's life will not respond or sitting with Nate, especially Nate, will not respond or say anything about this video, about the two videos right now that Ellie have dropped on her channel. I will be surprised that they will not react. So we are going to be see if they're going to be reacting yes or no. What do you guys think? Leave in the comment section. Guys, listen out. There's a lot going on on this YouTube. Let me tell you. There's a lot going on on this YouTube. And there's also one thing I always say, people. This is YouTube. There is nothing no more. Nothing no more on this YouTube. So please protect your peace your peace of mind your family yourself keep it separate people because this is youtube
it can all be an illusion. It can all be fake just in the name of content, just in the name of money, people. And even though if this is true, there is nothing normal about this situation at all. So definitely, definitely protect yourself from all of this shakara. People, keep pray up, no matter what people are seeing. Hey, Jesus, oh, people, ah, this just do something with my heart. God protect our children hmm, from all of this shakara. Jesus, oh, even when Ellie came out and say, oh, we are in an open relationship. I said, what in Jesus' name are you guys talking about open relationship? That it would, I, I, I don't agree with this whole open relationship. For me, when she said that, I said it in my video, there is nothing normal about this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. People, stay tuned for me going live. I said I'm going to go live two times a month. Because I'm not going to go live a lot because, hey, Jesus, oh, people cannot even go live peacefully. But I will go live two times a month. We're definitely going to be talking about this kind of topic. I'm still looking at which topic I'm going to be talking about as my first live coming back for this year. Pick a seat and not a sight. Yes, people. Just pick a seat and not a sight. Be open. Stay open in everybody's opinion. Be respectful with everybody their opinion, people. Hey, it's not about your, what you see is the way. Mm -mm. There are many ways. The only thing we can do is respect each other's opinion, people. Hey, Jesus. So. But uh, listen now. We're going to see which topic we're going to be talking about. Um, uh, Hopefully, it's not going to be a very long life and all of that. But stay tuned. I think it's going to be around the 15th and or the 14th. So it's going to be the 14th of January, maybe the life, or it's going to be the 16th. Let me see because, hey, Jesus, oh, I'm very busy with what I'm uh, planning for somebody. But with God's grace, we're going to make it and it's going to be beautiful, of course. And then the next life I'm planning to do ending of the month. Then we have like two times, the 15th and ending of the month. That will be um, two times a month. Then, then I will go live. So stay tuned for that, guys. Now, I want to thank you guys so much. Oh, by the way, um, the referee for the sauce is still coming up. I'm going to do it this weekend. So stay tuned for the referee of the sauce of Adrian Cooking and Food Review. I'm apologizing that it took a little bit of time. But um, it, it's, it's, I'm still doing it, of course. And I did not forget. That's what I wanted to say. I did not forget, everybody. Please, please, please forgive me. I did not forget um, the winner. Definitely, um, I'm going to do this. I still need to do the referee. So if you know which video I'm talking about, you can still put your orange heart and you can still participate. Maybe by tomorrow, I am closing the referee for the Adrian Cooking and Food Review. So, so stay tuned for that, everybody. Now, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to my Aora crew, everybody out there. Aora yes everybody shout out to you guys god bless to you all and um like i always say god bless stay blessed and you know it ahora see in the building bye guys Tutui.